Welcome back to GTA Insights. Possible spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The leaker GTA 6 leak posted on his Reddit account new information about the characters of the upcoming Grand Theft Auto. He said, Switching characters during combat will cause more injured characters to stay in cover and shoot less, reducing their likelihood of being killed. All NPCs act this way, too. If they're shot but not killed, they'll spend more time in cover and shoot less. NPCs have height differences. Images can be sent to contacts. There are four three lines of communication, text slash calls, emails, police radio and encrypted lines. Drinking coffee will make the characters slightly less fatigued. You can buy artwork to display in your properties. Artwork and classic cars can be put up for auction. You could make a profit or a substantial loss. Vehicles impounded by Rose will be put up for auction with some of the funds added to her department's budget. You can buy used cars. Karens are a common sight and can lead to some funny dialogue. They can also make Rose's work far more difficult. When shot, people actually bleed. If you're chasing a target and shoot them, for example, it may be possible to follow a trail of blood until you find them. Harmonth NPCs can affect their movement. For example, an NPC shot in the leg may limp and move more slowly, or an NPC that was recently punched in the head might appear slightly off balance and disoriented. Guns sound louder when fired indoors. You can rent rooms in hotels. The entire town of Cottonmouth is territory of the Angels of Death Motorcycle Club. The town is more lawless than the rest of the map, and it's not uncommon for NPCs to call the AODs if you're causing trouble, rather than the police. Territories outside of the three major cities, Carcer City, Liberty City, and Vice City, cannot be disturbed or pass hands through player action. The Ballas Gang are a dominant presence in much of Carcer City and is the main gang in the area. NPCs actually eat food until it's gone, then throw the wrappers into the trash. You can play chess. It's possible to play chess with another playable character. In that case, each have different skill levels. Ricardo is the most difficult, then Rose, then Casey. When traveling to a destination with another playable character in the vehicle, you can switch between characters. Switching to a character that isn't driving will cause the AI to drive itself there. If you're driving erratically, other characters in your vehicle may comment on it. When drunk with other characters, Ricardo will sometimes boast about and tell stories about his grandson, despite the fact he has no children. Despite her relationship with Ricardo, Rose keeps pictures of her late husband up in her house. When drunk, Rose will moan about how she's getting older. When drunk, Rose will sometimes complain that she's getting fat, despite being very skinny and her weight never increasing. When the whole trio is drunk together, Casey will confess that he loves the other two. After smoking marijuana, Ricardo may hallucinate seeing aliens and hear the voice of his grandson, despite the fact he has no grandson. Blood stains clothes. Despite her skills and persona, it's heavily implied that Rose actually feels extremely out of her depth in her professional position. When running or lifting objects, you can see people's muscles flexing. Casey will sometimes imitate the sound of a pig when Rose enters the room. This is actually the closest looking person to Ricardo I've seen to date. For those of you still struggling to imagine what Casey and Ricardo look like from my descriptions, this is definitely as close to Ricardo as I've seen so far. I don't know if it is meant to be Ricardo, I'd be very surprised if it is, though, but he definitely looks similar. Apparently Ricardo smells pretty bad. Rose cannot sprint when wearing heels. Rose is the best character at playing pool. Casey is the best character at playing tennis. By default, Ricardo's phone wallpaper is a picture of a boy his grandson despite that fact that he has no grandson. There's a mission where the trio hear that Rose's niece is being bullied by a gang of kids. The player must choose which of the trio will confront the bullies. If you choose Ricardo, he'll attempt to speak to them, using the various prompts on screen. If you choose Rose, she'll threaten to arrest them, despite the fact she's not in uniform and outside of her jurisdiction. If you choose Casey, he will punch one of the bullies. Rose and Casey know Ricardo has no children or grandchildren, but don't seem to mention it when Ricardo talks about his non-existent grandson. If Rose and Ricardo arrange a date, by default the character you don't take control of before the date will dress a certain way. Rose will dress very nice. Ricardo will dress in a t-shirt and sweatpants. If Ricardo is controlled by the player, and the player dresses him in a suit, Rose will comment on how good he looks. Some areas have dress codes and the player will not be allowed in unless the dress code is met. In general, Rose can bypass this by wearing her uniform. Take it with a grain of salt, 
but I've heard something suggesting a record label themed DLC for GTA Online that may feature returning characters. Goons and officers are each assigned a name and are permanent until killed or fired. All goons and officers have their own stats that can be leveled up, health, accuracy, bravery, experience. The max health a goon or officer can reach is the same max health of the player. As your officers and goons are involved in more shootouts and survive, they'll gain boosts to their accuracy and bravery stats. The accuracy stat allows your comrades to shot more accurately, making them better aids in shootouts. The bravery stats reduces the effects enemy fire will have on the character, allowing them to become less nervous, shoot faster once suppressing fire stops, and hesitate less when carrying out orders. The experience stat increases how many arrests your officers will make when they're out on patrol, increasing the overall safety of Vice City and earning your department extra funds. The experience stat increases the efficiency of KC and Ricardo's goons when the player delegates tasks to them, negotiating prices, planning routes, etc., saving the player money. If a goon is injured but does not die, the player must pay for their medical bills. If an officer is injured but does not die, Rose's department must pay their medical bills. If one of Rose's officers die, a spousal payment of $75,000 is deducted from the department's budget. Dead bodies will actually be picked up and removed. Garbage trucks have set rotas and work accordingly. This is the same with a host of various public service jobs. Some shops have opening hours and close for Sundays. Cars have custom tuning. You can map them to your personal specification. Tattoos cannot be removed. Car components have realistic purposes and bullets have various damage effects. For example, if the gearbox is hit, your car will be unable to change gears and going to slowly will stall your car, essentially killing it. If your water tank is hit, it will leak water until empty. There is a drug dealer that sells through a Cluck and Bell drive through KC will sometimes quote lines from cartoon shows the player has previously watched. The characters can friendly fire on each other. Rose's Nibbling is the only character in the game that cannot be harmed under any circumstances. The underground communication network is called Crime Line. If your character falls off the edge of a building or cliff, they may be able to hang onto the edge and pull themselves back up. If you call emergency services, response times will vary depending on your location. Occasionally, you may see news reporters near crime scenes presenting to the camera. What do you guys think? Is this real or just another fake leak? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.